What's going on guys, Mike here, and I just want to first apologize for, you know, not really being around or making videos in the past two weeks, two and a half weeks or so. Um, I've gotten the flu, and it's starting to hit me pretty bad again. I, you know, past few days I was actually feeling a lot better, and today I feel like ten times worse. Um, so that's why I really haven't been doing much or haven't been active on YouTube or on my Twitch. Uh, anyway... I wanted to make this video really quick because I just finished um, a tool that I've been working on for the past like day pretty much or like six hours or however long you want to say it was. Um, what it is, it's a Super Meat Boy control little station here to delete your save and launch your Meat Boy within one little application so you don't have to, you know, search through your folders, delete, a, delete your save game and then have to, you know, right click on your Steam and relaunch Super Meat Boy, stuff like that. You can do everything right through this little application here. Um, what it's used for is for those of you who are, f you know, big into speed running, um, you know that whenever you speed run, you have a lot of people like to have a clean slate, you know, a clean game. So when they do it, you know, everything's fresh. It's easier to keep track of and kind of prevents people from cheating in any percent, at least in a way. So that's kind of why I went ahead and created it. Um, so the way it works is you have two buttons here. You have a delete save button and you have a launch Super Meat Boy button. Um, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys exactly how it works uh, this is your user data folder within your super meat boy this is where your save game will go um, I don't you won't see it here because I hit delete so it has removed it so what I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna click launch super meat boy here and it's gonna pull up my super meat boy and I'm just gonna jump into a game real quick you know do the first level um, just to show that your save game uh, dot dot will you know load right over there uh, I can't with expert for some reason this game runs terribly for me but anyway so as you can see there's one level done and our save game went ahead and there it is right there so what you do is then simple as this hit delete save bam save game is now gone and you can go ahead and you can close relaunch and when you come back in, you will notice that the game is pretty much back from scratch, 0%, and the game will start as if, you know, you're just entering the game for the first time. Uh, like I said, it's mainly used for people who speedrun. Uh, other people who want to use it, you know, feel free. <laughs> I'm not really sure how it's going to benefit you unless you just like to erase your data and stuff like that. Um, mind you, uh, there is no message box that pops up when you click delete save. I wanted, I did that on purpose because I wanted to make sure, you know, that it was efficient and, you know, having to click an extra button or having to just confirm a deletion or something that you were going to do in the first place, I feel it would have been a little redundant or not needed. So that's why there is, excuse me, that's why there is no confirmation for it. It just deletes it. And that is that. Um... For those of you who are interested in this tool, I will put a link in the description. It will bring you to a send space. Oop, that's a stream that I was watching. It's Mr. MV, by the way. He's a boss. Um, this is the link. This is where the link is going to bring you. It's going to be a send space. You just click here to download. And what you will be downloading is this dart raw here. This uh, raw file, you can just extract it to wherever you want. I would say the desktop just because I extract everything to the desktop. Um, inside, though, you're going to have your actual application and you're going to have a readme. I do suggest you read the readme file. Well, this is the application, by the way. Uh, the readme file I do suggest reading because there is an important information right in this little area here. Um, what it, this is pretty much telling you in short is that if your CD drive... Wait, one second, guys. This is going to bug me. There you go. Um, if your CD drive or DVD drive is... Uh, what is it? Letter D or it's your file path is a station to D or whatever D colon uh, you are going to need to change it otherwise this program will not work uh, the reason that is is because the way this program works is it scans your files or it scans your hard drives or whichever drives you have on your computer and it searches for your Steam Apps folder in order to launch Super Meat Boy as well as for your user data folder in order to delete that file and I had to include drive D inside of that because a lot of people do use drive D as a hard drive or an external storage drive. Um, so it is there. So if your uh, drive is D, just go ahead and change it. Uh, it's really not going to cause any problems. You could find out how to do so right here. Uh, you literally right click 
uh, your little computer, hit manage. From here you click on disk management. From here you find your CD drive, right click and hit change drive letter and path and you can go ahead and you can change this to whatever you want. Preferably I would do it something towards the end of the alphabet just because I kind of covered a lot of different drive letters um, that are towards the beginning because that is generally what hard drives are you know, labeled as. So just go ahead and do that if you need to. Otherwise the program won't uh, the launching it will work. You'll be able to launch from people. You won't be able to delete your file, unfortunately. Um, but that's pretty much it, guys. Um, I wanted to keep this video relatively short, and I doubt I did so. Um, yeah, I don't even know how long it's going for right now. Um, I'm going to be making some more videos soon. Um, you know, I really need to get better. It is killing me right now just to talk to you guys, but I wanted to make this video just to keep you, you know, throw you in the loop where I've been, what I've been doing. And, um, you know, help out the Super Meat Boy community because, for those of you who know, I do speedrun Super Meat Boy. And um, that's why I went ahead and created this. So, go ahead, download it, share it with people. Uh, you know, tell them where you got it from. And, uh, yeah, I guess I'll see you guys in the next one. Uh, happy racing, fellas. Later.